Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, let's continue uh, our discussion about uh, determinable behavior and specific on gas. Yeah. Okay. Um, after we learn about the concept of ideal gas, yeah, now uh, we can apply the concept to solve yeah the problem that already. Uh, served yeah by this book we are going to learn how to calculate yeah the ideal gas flow through this example yeah example 17.1 okay let's um let's understanding uh let's we read let's read yeah the the problem first so what volume so okay so we we are asked about the volume of the gas yeah what volume is occupied yeah, by one mole of an ideal gas at standard temperature and pressure or stp yeah, where the temperature is zero degree of celsius and the pressure is 101.3 kilopascal yeah okay so in this problem yeah we are asked to find yeah the volume so let's right here so what we know we know that the volume is something that is questioned and then we have the information of mole here okay so because we know yeah the information of mole then we are going to use this yeah uh, this equation yeah because we have mole here okay so the mole is one mole and then the temperature is zero degree of celsius okay but celsius is not standard international unit yeah so we have to change uh, the unit first yeah to kelvin yeah uh, zero degree of Celsius, yeah. It equals to two hundred and seventy three Kelvin, yeah. And then the pressure is one hundred and one point three kilopascal, yeah. And Pascal is standard international unit, so we don't have to convert the unit. Okay, but I will make it into this, yeah. Times 10 to the power of 3 Pascal yeah okay now we so uh, we already have all the known information then we can do the calculation yeah first we have, uh, write the equation and RT and then P yeah equal to N R T divided by P yeah and then P equal to N is one yeah N is one and then R is eight comma uh, eight point three one four yeah okay, so eight point three one four yeah and then times temperature so temperature is 273 kelvin divided by the pressure yeah so the pressure is 101.3 times 10 to the power of 3 okay okay so we can uh, calculate this yeah using the calculator yeah, so let's put all the number into your calculator. So one times eight point three one four times two hundred and seventy three and divided by one hundred and one point three times ten to the power of three, yeah. And I got one point 
to a one point zero point zero two to four meter cube. Yeah. Okay. And if I convert yeah meter into meter cube into decimeter cube, then I will get to a one zero point zero two to four time ten to the power of three decimeter cube yeah or it it will equal to uh two uh one two three uh twenty two point four yeah decimeter cube yeah and you can check yeah one decimeter cube yeah, equals to one liter. Yeah, so our volume yeah of the gas can be also written as this twenty two point four liter. Yeah, so this is ah the volume yeah of the gas yeah when its temperature is zero degree of Celsius and the pressure is one hundred and one point three kilopascal. Yeah, okay, so let's check uh, from the result in the example so it is 22.4 liter okay so we also have the same value yeah yeah okay so this is the application yeah how we apply uh, the concept of ideal gas into a certain problem and i hope through this video uh, you can understand uh, the application of ideal gas law yeah okay after this uh, we are going to learn the yeah, next uh, subtopic and thanks for your attention until now and see you on the next video thank you